Providence is the capital and most populous city of the U.S. state of Rhode Island and is one of the oldest cities in the United States. It was founded in 1636 by Roger Williams, a Reformed Baptist theologian and religious exile from the Massachusetts Bay Colony. He named the area in honor of God's merciful providence which he believed was responsible for revealing such a haven for him and his followers. The city is situated at the mouth of the Providence River at the head of Narragansett Bay. Providence was one of the first cities in the country to industrialize and became noted for its textile manufacturing and subsequent machine tool, jewelry, and silverware industries. Today, the city of Providence is home to eight hospitals and seven institutions of higher learning which have shifted the city's economy into service industries, though it still retains some manufacturing activity. The city was once nicknamed the Beehive of Industry. It began rebranding itself as the Creative Capital in 2009 to emphasize its educational resources and arts community. The city is the third most populous city in New England after Boston and Worcester, Massachusetts. Topic History Providence was settled in June 1636 by Roger Williams and was one of the original 13 colonies. Williams and his company were compelled to leave Massachusetts Bay Colony, and Providence quickly became a refuge for persecuted religious dissenters, as Williams himself had been exiled from Massachusetts. Providence residents were among the first patriots to spill blood in the lead up to the American Revolutionary War during the Gaspé Affair of 1772, and Rhode Island was the first of the thirteen colonies to renounce its allegiance to the British Crown on May 4, 1776. It was also the last of the thirteen colonies to ratify the United States Constitution on May 29, 1790, once assurances were made that a Bill of Rights would become part of the Constitution. Following the war, Providence was the country's ninth largest city with 7,614 people. The economy shifted from maritime endeavors to manufacturing, in particular machinery, tools, silverware, jewelry, and textiles. By the start of the 20th century, Providence hosted some of the largest manufacturing plants in the country, including Brown & Sharp, Nicholson File, and Gorham Manufacturing Company. Providence residents ratified a city charter in 1831 as the population passed 17,000. The seat of city government was located in the Market House in Market Square from 1832 to 1878, which was the geographic and social center of the city. The city offices outgrew this building, and the city council resolved to create a permanent municipal building in 1845. The city offices moved into the Providence City Hall in 1878. During the American Civil War, local politics split over slavery as many had ties to southern cotton. Despite ambivalence concerning the war, the number of military volunteers routinely exceeded quota, and the city's manufacturing proved invaluable to the Union. Providence thrived after the war, and waves of immigrants brought the population from 54,595 in 1865 to 175,597 by 1900. By the early 1900s, Providence was one of the wealthiest cities in the United States. Immigrant labor powered one of the nation's largest industrial manufacturing centers. Providence was a major manufacturer of industrial products, from steam engines to precision tools to silverware, screws, and textiles. Giant companies were based in or near Providence, such as Brown & Sharp, the Corliss Steam Engine Company, Babcock & Wilcox, the Grinnell Corporation, the Gorham Manufacturing Company, Nicholson File, and the Fruit of the Loom Textile Company. From 1975 until 1982, $606 million of local and national community development funds were invested throughout the city. In the 1990s, the city pushed for revitalization, uncovering the rivers which had been covered by paved bridges, relocating a large section of railroad underground, creating waterplace park and river walks along the river's banks, and constructing the Fleet Skating Rink now the Alex and Ani City Center and the Providence Place Mall. Despite new investment, poverty remains an entrenched problem, as it does in all cities. Approximately 27.9% of the city population is living below the poverty line. Recent increases in real estate values further exacerbate problems for those at marginal income levels, as Providence had the highest rise in median housing price of any city in the United States from 2004 to 2005. Geography 
The Providence city limits enclose a small geographical region with a total area of 20.5 square miles, 53 square kilometers, 18.5 square miles, 48 square kilometers of it is land and the remaining 2.1 square miles, 5.4 square kilometers is water, roughly 10%. Providence is located at the head of Narragansett Bay, with the Providence River running into the bay through the center of the city, formed by the confluence of the Moshasuk and Wunasquatucket rivers. The Waterplace Park Amphitheater and Riverwalks line the river's banks through downtown. Providence is one of many cities claimed to be founded on seven hills like Rome. The more prominent hills are, Constitution Hill near downtown, College Hill east of the Providence River, and Federal Hill west of downtown and containing New England's largest Italian district outside of Massachusetts. The other four are, Taquatin Hill at Fox Point, Smith Hill where the State House is located, Christian Hill at Hoyle Square junction of Cranston and Westminster Streets, and Waybosset Hill at the lower end of Waybosset Street, which was leveled in the early 1880s. Topic. Neighborhoods Providence has 25 official neighborhoods, though these neighborhoods are often grouped together and referred to collectively. The east side is a region comprising the neighborhoods of Blackstone, Hope aka Summit, Mount Hope, College Hill, Wayland, and Fox Point. The Jewelry District describes the area enclosed by I-95, the old I-195, and the Providence River. The city has made efforts to rename this area the Knowledge District to reflect the area's newly developing life sciences and technology-based economy. The North End is formed by the concatenation of the neighborhoods of Charles, Wanscuck, Smith Hill, Elmhurst, and Mount Pleasant. The South Side or South Providence consists of the neighborhoods of Elmwood, Lower South Providence, Upper South Providence, Washington Park, and the West End. West Broadway is an officially recognized neighborhood with its own association. It overlaps with the southern half of Federal Hill and the northern part of the West End. The West Side is a vague term sometimes used to mean the Federal Hill, Olneville, Hartford, and Silver Lake. Topic. Cityscape The city of Providence is geographically very compact, characteristic of eastern seaboard cities that developed prior to use of the automobile. It is among the most densely populated cities in the country. For this reason, Providence has the eighth highest percentage of pedestrian commuters. The street layout is irregular, more than 1,000 streets a great number for the city's size run haphazardly, connecting and radiating from traditionally bustling places such as Market Square. Downtown Providence has numerous 19th-century mercantile buildings in the federal and Victorian architectural styles, as well as several postmodern and modernist buildings located throughout the area. In particular, a fairly clear spatial separation appears between the areas of pre-1980s development and post-1980s development. West Exchange Street and Exchange Terrace serve as rough boundaries between the two. The newer area, sometimes called Capital Center, Includes Providence Place Mall 1999, the Omni Providence Hotel 1993, and the Residences Providence 2007, Gatech Corporation 2006, Waterplace Condominiums 2007, and Waterplace Park 1994. The area tends toward newer development, since much of it is land reclaimed in the 1970s from a mass of railroad tracks referred to colloquially as the Chinese Wall. This part of downtown is characterized by open spaces, wide roads, and landscaping. The historic part of downtown has many streetscapes that look as they did 80 years ago. Many of the state's tallest buildings are found here. The largest structure at 426 feet 130 meters is the Art Deco-styled Industrial National Bank Building formerly Industrial Trust Tower. By contrast, nearby to it is the second tallest one financial plaza, designed in modern taut skin cladding, constructed a half century later. In between the two is 50 Kennedy Plaza. The Textron Tower is also a core building to the modest Providence skyline. Downtown is also the home of the Providence Biltmore and Westminster Arcade, the oldest enclosed shopping mall in the U.S., built in 1828. The city's southern waterfront, away from the downtown core, is the location of many oil tanks, a docking station for a ferry boat, a non-profit sailing center, bars, strip clubs, and power plants. The Russian Submarine Museum was located here until 2008, when the submarine sank in a storm and was declared a loss. 
The Fox Point Hurricane Barrier is also found here, built to protect Providence from storm surge like that which it endured in the 1938 New England hurricane and again in 1954 from Hurricane Carol. The majority of the cityscape comprises abandoned and revitalized industrial mills, double and triple decker housing, though row houses are rare, found so commonly in other northeast cities, a small number of high-rise buildings, predominantly for housing the elderly, and single-family homes. Interstate 95 serves as a physical barrier between the city's commercial core and neighborhoods such as Federal Hill and the West End. Topic: <inaudible> Climate. Providence has a humid subtropical climate, Köppen Cfa, with warm summers, cold winters, and high humidity year-round. The USDA places the city in hardiness zone 6B, with the suburbs in zone 6A7B. The influence of the Atlantic Ocean keeps the state of Rhode Island warmer than many inland locales in New England. January is the coldest month with a daily mean of 29.2 degrees Fahrenheit minus 1.6 degrees Celsius and low temperatures dropping to 10 degrees Fahrenheit minus 12 degrees Celsius or lower an average of 11 days per winter, while July is the warmest month with a daily mean of 73.5 degrees Fahrenheit 23.1 degrees Celsius and highs rising to 90 degrees Fahrenheit 32 degrees Celsius or higher an average of 10 days per summer. Extremes range from -17 degrees Fahrenheit or -27.2 degrees Celsius on February 9, 1934 to 104 degrees Fahrenheit or 40 degrees Celsius on August 2, 1975. The record cold daily maximum is 1 degree Fahrenheit -17.2 degrees Celsius on February 5, 1918, while the record warm daily minimum is 80 degrees Fahrenheit (26.7 degrees Celsius) on June 6, 1925. Temperature readings of 0 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 17.8 degrees Celsius or lower are uncommon in Providence and generally occur once every several years. The year which had the most days with a temperature reading of 0 degrees or lower was 2015 with 8 days total. One day in January and 7 days in February. Conversely, temperature readings of 100 degrees Fahrenheit or 37.8 degrees Celsius or higher are even rarer, and the year with the most days in this category was 1944 with three days, all of which were in August. Monthly precipitation in Providence ranges from a high of 4.43 inches (112.5 mm) in March to a low of 3.17 inches (80.5 mm) in July. In general, precipitation levels are slightly less in the summer months than the winter months, when nor'easters can cause significant snowfall and blizzard conditions. Hurricanes are not frequent in coastal New England, although Providence's location at the head of Narragansett Bay makes it vulnerable to them. <laughs> Demographics As of the census of 2000, the population consisted of 173,618 people, 162,389 households, and 35,859 families. The population density was 9,401.7 inhabitants per square mile, 3,629.4 per square kilometers, characteristic of comparatively older cities in New England such as New Haven, Connecticut, Springfield, Massachusetts, and Hartford, Connecticut. Its population peaked in the 1940s, just prior to the nationwide period of rapid suburbanization. Providence has a racially and ethnically diverse population. In 2010, white Americans formed 49.8% of the population, including a sizable white Hispanic community. Non-Hispanic whites were 37.6% of the total population, down from 89.5% in 1970. Providence has had a substantial Italian population since the start of the 20th century, with 14% of the population claiming Italian ancestry. Italian influence manifests itself in Providence's Little Italy in Federal Hill. Irish immigrants have also had considerable influence on the city's history, with 8% of residents claiming Irish heritage. The city also has a sizable Jewish community, estimated at 10,500 in 2012 or roughly 5% of the city's population. In 2010, people of Hispanic or Latino origin composed 38.1% of the city's population and currently form a majority of city public school students. The largest Hispanic groups are those having origins in Puerto Rico, Colombia, Bolivia, the Dominican Republic, and Guatemala. 
Hispanics are most concentrated in the neighborhoods of Elmwood, the West End, and Upper and Lower South Providence. The city elected its first Hispanic mayor in 2010, Dominican American Angel Taveras. African Americans constitute 16% of the city's population, with their greatest concentrations found in Mount Hope and the Upper and Lower South Providence neighborhoods. Asians are 6% of Providence's population and have enclaves scattered throughout the city. The largest Asian groups are Cambodians 1.7%, Chinese 1.1%, Asian Indians 0.7%, Laotians 0.6%, and Koreans 0.6%. Another 6% of the city has multiracial ancestry. American Indians and Pacific Islanders make up the remaining 1.3%. Liberians compose 0.4% of the population. The city is home to one of the largest Liberian immigrant populations in the country. Providence has a considerable community of immigrants from various Portuguese speaking countries, especially Portugal, Brazil, and Cape Verde, living mostly in the areas of Washington Park and Fox Point. Portuguese is the city's third largest European ethnicity, after Italian and Irish, at 4% of the population. Cape Verdeans compose 2%. The Providence metropolitan area includes Providence, Fall River, Massachusetts, and Warwick, and is estimated to have a population of 1,622,520. In 2006, this area was officially added to the Boston Combined Statistical Area, CSA, the sixth largest CSA in the country. In the last 15 years, Providence has experienced a sizable growth in its under-18 population. The median age of the city is 28 years, while the largest age cohort is 20 to 24-year-olds, owing to the city's large student population. The per capita income as of the 2000 census was $15,525, which is well below both the state average of $29,113 and the national average of $21,587. The median income for a household was $26,867, and the median income for a family in Providence was $32,058, according to the 2000 census. The city has one of the highest rates of poverty in the nation with 29.1% of the population and 23.9% of families living below the poverty line in 2000, the largest concentrations being found in the city's Olneville, and Upper and Lower South Providence areas. Poverty has affected children at a disproportionately higher rate, with 40.1% of those under the age of 18 living below the poverty line, concentrated west of downtown in the neighborhoods of Hartford, Federal Hill, and Olneville. Topic. Crime Compared to the national average, Providence has an average rate of violent crime and a higher rate of property crime per 100,000 inhabitants. In 2010, there were 15 murders, down from 24 in 2009. In 2010, Providence fared better regarding violent crime than most of its peer cities. Springfield, Massachusetts has approximately 20,000 fewer residents than Providence but reported 15 murders in 2009, the same number of homicides as Providence but a slightly higher rate per capita. The police chief asserted that Providence's violence was not stranger to stranger, but relationship driven. The pattern of violent crime was highly specific by neighborhood, with the vast majority of the murders taking place in the poorer sections of Providence, such as Olneville, Elmwood, South Providence, and the West End. Economy <inaudible> 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 Around 1830, Providence had manufacturing industries in metals, machinery, textiles, jewelry, and silverware. Manufacturing has declined since, but the city is still one of the largest centers for jewelry and silverware design and manufacturing. Services also make up a large portion of the city's economy, in particular education, healthcare, and finance. Providence also is the site of a sectional center facility SCF, a regional hub for the U.S. Postal Service. It is the capital of Rhode Island, so the city's economy additionally consists of government services. Prominent companies headquartered in Providence include Fortune 500 Textron, an advanced technologies industrial conglomerate, United Natural Foods, a distributor of natural and organic foods, Fortune 1000 Nortec Incorporated, Gilbane, a construction and real estate company, and Gatech Corporation, which recently moved its world headquarters to downtown Providence. 
Citizens Bank is also headquartered in Providence and is the 15th largest bank in the country. The city is home to the Rhode Island Convention Center, which opened in December 1993. Along with a hotel, the convention center is connected to the Providence Place Mall, a major retail center, through a skywalk. The Port of Providence is the second largest deep water seaport in New England. It handles cargoes such as cement, chemicals, heavy machinery, petroleum, and scrap metal. Providence is also home to some of toy manufacturer Hasbro's business operations, although their headquarters are in Pawtucket. Topic. Top employers. According to the city's 2014 Comprehensive Annual Financial Report, the top 20 employers in the city are topic. Government As the state capital, Providence houses the Rhode Island General Assembly, as well as the offices of the Governor and the Lieutenant Governor in the Rhode Island State House. The city itself has a Mayor Council government. The Providence City Council consists of 15 councillors, one for each of the city's wards, who enact ordinances and pass an annual budget. Providence also has probate and superior courts. The U.S. District Court for the District of Rhode Island is located downtown across from Providence City Hall adjacent to Kennedy Plaza. In November 2002, David N. Cicilline was elected mayor of Providence, becoming the first openly gay mayor of a United States state capital. The city's first Latino mayor was Angel Taveras, who assumed office on January 3, 2011. Jorge Alorza succeeded him on January 5, 2015. Topic education Topic Post-secondary The main campuses of five of Rhode Island's colleges and universities are in Providence City proper, Brown University, an Ivy League university and one of nine colonial colleges in the nation Johnson & Wales University Providence College Rhode Island College, the state's oldest public college Rhode Island School of Design RISD. In addition, the Community College of Rhode Island, Roger Williams University, and University of Rhode Island have satellite campuses in the city. Between these schools, the number of post-secondary students is approximately 44,000. Higher education exerts a considerable presence in the city's politics and economy, compounded by the fact that Brown University is the city's second-largest employer. Topic private and charter schools There are several private schools in the city's east side, including Moses Brown, the Lincoln School, and the Wheeler School. La Salle Academy is located in the North End Elmhurst neighborhood, near Providence College. The public charter schools Times Squared Academy High School K-12 and Textron Chamber of Commerce 9-12 are funded by Gatech Corporation and Textron respectively. In addition, the city's south side houses Community Preparatory School, a private school serving primarily low-income students in grades 3-8. There are two separate centers for students with special needs. Topic public schools The Providence Public School District serves about 30,000 students from pre-kindergarten to grade 12. The district has 25 elementary schools, 9 middle schools, and 13 high schools. The Providence Public School District features magnet schools at the middle and high school level, Nathaniel Green and Classical respectively. The overall graduation rate as of 2007 is 70.1%, which is close to the statewide rate of 71% and the national average of 70%. Rhode Island also operates two public schools in Providence. Topic culture Much of Providence culture is synonymous with the culture of Rhode Island as a whole. Like the state, the city has a non-Rhotic accent that can be heard on local media. Providence also shares Rhode Island's affinity for coffee, with the most coffee and donut shops per capita of any city in the country. Providence is also reputed to have the highest number of restaurants per capita of major U.S. cities, many of which are founded or staffed by Johnson & Wales University graduates. Providence has several ethnic neighborhoods, notably Federal Hill and the North End Italian, Fox Point Portuguese, West End mainly Central American and Asians, and Smith Hill Irish with miscellaneous enclaves of other groups. There are also many dedicated community organizations and arts associations located in the city. The city gained the reputation as one of the most active and growing gay and lesbian communities in the Northeast. The rate of reported gay and lesbian relationships is 75% higher than the national average, and Providence has been named among the best lesbian places to live. 
Former Mayor David Cicilline won his election running as an openly gay man. Former Mayor Chanchi instituted the position of mayor's liaison to the gay and lesbian community in the 1990s, and Providence is home to the largest gay bathhouse in New England. During the summer months, the city regularly hosts Waterfire, an environmental art installation that consists of about 100 bonfires which blaze just above the surface of the three rivers that pass through the middle of downtown Providence. There are multiple Waterfire events that are accompanied by various pieces of classical and world music. The public art displays change on a regular basis, most notably the sculptures. The city is also the home of the Tony Award-winning theater group Trinity Repertory Company, the Providence Black Repertory Company, and the Rhode Island Philharmonic Orchestra, as well as groups such as the American Band, once associated with noted American composer David Wallace Reeves. Providence is also the home of several performing arts centers, such as the Veterans Memorial Auditorium, the Providence Performing Arts Center, and the Providence Festival Ballet. The city's underground music is centered on artist-run spaces such as the now-defunct Fort Thunder and is known in underground music circles. Providence is also home to the Providence Improv Guild, an improvisational theater that has weekly performances and offers improv and sketch comedy classes. Topic. Sites of interest Providence is home to a 1,200-acre park system, notably Waterplace Park and Riverwalk, Roger Williams Park, Roger Williams National Memorial, and Prospect Terrace Park. Prospect Terrace Park features expansive views of the downtown area, as well as a 15-foot-tall granite statue of Roger Williams gazing over the city. As one of the first cities in America, Providence contains many historic buildings, while the East Side neighborhood in particular includes the largest contiguous area of buildings listed on the National Register of Historic Places in the U.S., with many pre revolutionary houses. The East Side is also home to the first Baptist church in America, which was founded by Williams in 1638, as well as the Old State House, which served as the state's capital from 1762 to 1904. Nearby is Roger Williams National Memorial. The dome of the State House is the fourth largest self-supporting marble dome in the world and the second largest marble dome after St. Peter's Basilica in Rome. The Westminster Arcade is the oldest enclosed shopping center in the U.S. The Rhode Island School of Design Museum contains the 20th largest collection in the United States. The Providence Athenaeum is the fourth oldest library in the United States, in addition to the Providence Public Library and the nine branches of the Providence Community Library. Edgar Allan Poe frequented the library, and met and courted Sarah Helen Whitman at the library. H. P. Lovecraft was also a regular patron. The Alex and Ani City Center, formerly the Bank of America Skating Center and Fleet Skating Center, is located near Kennedy Plaza in the downtown district, connected by pedestrian tunnel to Waterplace Park, a cobblestone and concrete park below street traffic that abuts Providence's Three Rivers. The southern part of the city is home to the famous roadside attraction Nibbles Woodaway, also known as the Big Blue Bug, the world's largest termite. Roger Williams Park contains a zoo, a botanical center, and the Museum of Natural History and Planetarium. Another well known site is the Providence Biltmore Hotel, located downtown near Kennedy Plaza, a historic location built in 1922. The hotel closed in 1974, it was added to the National Register of Historic Places in 1977, and it reopened in 1979. Sports The city is home to the American Hockey League team Providence Bruins, which plays at the Dunkin' Donuts Center formerly the Providence Civic Center. From 1926 to 1972, the AHL's Providence Reds renamed the Rhode Island Reds in their last years played at the Rhode Island Auditorium. In 1972, the team relocated to the Providence Civic Center, where they played until moving to Binghamton, New York, in 1977. The city has two rugby teams, the rugby union team Providence Rugby Football Club, and the semi-professional rugby league team the Rhode Island Rebellion, which play at Classical High School. In 2013 the Rebellion finished the USA Rugby League regular season in third place. Their playoff run took them to the USARL semi-finals, the first time the Rebellion made the playoffs in its short three-year history. 
The NFL's New England Patriots and MLS's New England Revolution play in Foxborough, Massachusetts, which is situated halfway between Providence and Boston. Providence was formerly home to two major league franchises, the NFL's Providence Steam Roller in the 1920s and 1930s, and the NBA's Providence Steam Rollers in the 1940s. The Rhode Island Auditorium also hosted 29 of the 49 boxing fights of Rocky Marciano. The city's defunct baseball team, the Providence Grays, competed in the National League from 1879 through 1885. The team defeated the New York Metropolitans in baseball's first successful World Championship Series in 1884. In 1914, after the Boston Red Sox purchased Babe Ruth from the then minor league Baltimore Orioles, the team prepared Ruth for the major leagues by sending him to finish the season playing for a minor league team in Providence that was also known as the Grays. Today, professional baseball is offered by the Pawtucket Red Sox, the AAA affiliate of the Boston Red Sox, which plays in nearby Pawtucket. Most baseball fans, along with the local media, tend to follow the Boston Red Sox, major colleges and universities fielding NCAA Division I athletic teams are Brown University and Providence College. The latter is a member of the Big East Conference. Much local hype is associated with games between these two schools or the University of Rhode Island. Providence has also hosted the alternative sports event Gravity Games from 1999 to 2001, and was also the first host of ESPN's X Games, known in its first edition as the Extreme Games, in 1995. Providence has its own roller derby league. Formed in 2004, it currently has four teams, the Providence Mob Squad, the Sakonet River Roller Rats, the Old Money Honeys, and the Rhode Island Riveters. Providence is also home to the headquarters of the American Athletic Conference the American. Topic. Infrastructure Topic. Health and medicine Providence is home to eight hospitals, most prominently Rhode Island Hospital, the largest general acute care hospital in the state. It is also the Level 1 Trauma Center for Rhode Island, southeastern Massachusetts and parts of Connecticut. The hospital is in a complex along I-95 that includes Hasbro Children's Hospital and Women and Infants Hospital. The city is also home to the Roger Williams Medical Center, St. Joseph Hospital for Specialty Care, a division of St. Joseph Health Services of Rhode Island, the Miriam Hospital, a major teaching affiliate associated with the Alpert Medical School of Brown University, as well as a VA medical center. The Rhode Island Blood Center has its main headquarters in Providence. Since 1979, the Rhode Island Blood Center has been the sole organization in charge of blood collection and testing and distribution of blood products to 11 hospitals in Rhode Island. Topic. Transportation Providence is served by TF Green Airport in Warwick, and general aviation fields also serve the region. Massport has been promoting TF. Green is an alternative to Boston's Logan International Airport because of overcrowding. Providence Station is located between the Rhode Island State House and the Downtown District and is served by Amtrak and MBTA commuter rail services, with a commuter rail route running north to Boston and south to TF. Green Airport and Wickford Junction. Approximately 2,400 passengers pass through the station per day. I-95 runs from north to south through Providence. I-195 connects the city to eastern Rhode Island and southeastern Massachusetts, including New Bedford, Massachusetts and Cape Cod. I-295 encircles Providence, while RE-146 provides a direct connection with Worcester, Massachusetts. The city commissioned and began the long-term project Iway in 2007 to move I-195 for safety reasons, to free up land, and to reunify the jewelry district with Down City Providence, which had been split from one another by the highway. The project was estimated to cost $610 million. Kennedy Plaza in downtown Providence serves as a transportation hub for local public transit as well as a departure point for Peter Pan bus lines and Greyhound lines. Public transit is managed by Rhode Island Public Transit Authority RIPTA. Through RIPTA alone, Kennedy Plaza serves more than 71,000 people a day. The majority of the area covered by RIPTA is served by traditional buses. Of particular note is the east side trolley tunnel running under College Hill, the use of which is reserved for RIPTA buses. 
RIPTA also operates the Providence Link, a system of tourist trolleys in downtown Providence. From 2000 to 2008, RIPTA operated a seasonal ferry to Newport, Rhode Island between May and October, but Seastreak began operating that ferry route in 2016. Topic: <laughs> Utilities. Electricity and natural gas are provided by National Grid. Providence Water is responsible for the distribution of drinking water, 90% of which comes from the Situate Reservoir about 10 miles 16 kilometers west of downtown, with contributions coming from four smaller bodies of water. Drinking water in Providence has been rated among the highest quality in the country. Topic. Sister cities As of 2008, Providence had three official sister cities: Praia (1994), Florence (2002), Santo Domingo (2004). Topic. See also. List of people from Providence, Rhode Island. List of tallest buildings in Providence. National Register of Historic Places listings in Providence, Rhode Island Neighborhoods in Providence Topic. Notes Topic. References Topic. Further reading EDC Profile City of Providence Rhode Island Economic Development Corporation, 2006. Samantha Cook, Greg Ward, Tim Perry, 2004. Providence. The Rough Guide USA. Rough Guides. pp. 243-247. ISBN 1-84353-262-X. Rich, Wilbur C. 2000. Vincent Chaunchi and Boosterism in Providence, Rhode Island. Governing Middle-Sized Cities. Lynn Reiner Publishers. pp. 197-216. ISBN 1-55587-870-9. External links Official website Providence Warwick Convention and Visitors Bureau Providence Travel Guide from Wikivoyage Portrait of Providence from Altitude, 2010, Aerial Photos by Doc Sorrells.